everyone. Welcome back to the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network. I'm here with Kay Sarah, or Sarah, <laughs> Sarah for short. I'm not sure what's going on with her. I just adopted her on Saturday and she was whimpering a lot and running around. And I had taken her out before the stream and hopefully she'll be okay. Hey, Brickham's Den, how's it going, Rick? Yeah, so this is Sarah or K Sarah. <laughs> and she's she's so affectionate and very sweet, but she is a little skittish and she is new here. I've only had her since Saturday, so I don't know why, but right before the stream she started whimpering and she jumped up on me. So I said, "Okay, I'll hold on to you." So hopefully she'll be okay. But uh, let me set her down real quick. You'd be good, girl. You'd be good. You'd be a good girl. Okay, so welcome back to the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network. Hello, P.T. McEwen. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on the baby brick bunkers because, as you know, uh, we have this challenge going on on the baby brick bunkers. And oh, so Glenn says, hello, Sarah. <laughs> so you're skittish too? Yeah, I think we're all kind of skittish whenever you're in a new place. So she's been with me, like I said, since Saturday, and I keep now these wipes with me close by because when I pick her up, as some of you know, that uh, you might get some dog fur or oils on your hands. So, uh, hey, Lena, how's it going? Good to see you. So, yeah, so um, I'm now equipping my site with some new things <laughs> now that I have a dog, and hopefully she'll be okay. I'm a little worried because I did take her out about an hour and a half ago and hopefully she's she's gonna be okay but if not you know it's easy to pick pick up a mess if I have to but anyway so today I wanted to mention that I know I've been out of town I've had a family emergency so I haven't been able to promote this as much as I would like to um, I was on my Twitch channel uh, last, let's see, what day is today? <laughs> on Monday and Sunday and Monday. And somebody had requested that I actually build a baby bunker on stream. So that's what we're going to do today. Today and last night haven't been the best. Oh, I'm sorry, Lena. I hope things get better for you. Just take a bio break if needed. Yeah. <laughs> well, if she starts running around like she's looking for a place to go, I will do that but I, I seriously I took her out about an hour before the stream and so she she did do some business I won't get into any big details but she she did you know take care of that does your submission still count well make sure that you put hashtag baby brick bunkers so I'm gonna put that in the chat here so post on Instagram and use the hashtag baby oops Let's do the hashtag baby brick bunkers. So as long as you do that, then that should work out fine. And what we're doing is we are taking submissions all the way till the 16th. So Saturday, the 16th until 1159 PM. And then we are going to review all of the submissions and we'll have a prize pack for the top three winners. And I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to build the prize packs yet because as I mentioned, I've been out of town and it's been, <laughs> it's been a little crazy. So these are on an eight by eight. So you remember when Brickworm did the six by six um, quilt squares? Well, these, these are a little bit larger. So it's an eight by eight and it's six bricks tall. You, you'll do that? Okay. Oh, Big Blocks is here. In fact, this is a specific request from Big Block. So welcome, Brit Big Block. I'm doing this tutorial uh, specifically from your request. And hello, Gary Mullane from Ireland. And what I have here is uh, the, uh, I'm going to pull up the website in my next screen. So hold on. Oh, Technician0990. Hello from Oklahoma. How are you? You can only stay for a couple of minutes, but hi. Okay, no worries, Dave. Glad to have you here. Do I still stream on Twitch or just YouTube now? Actually, I still stream on Twitch only on Sundays and Mondays. And you'll be happy to see if you go back to my recordings. I did the bonsai tree and Joel Have Studs Will Travel suggested that I make it a spooky tree. So what I did is after I had built the tree, 
I went ahead and I looked at it and there are these modules that are just repeatable modules of the leaves and I just went ahead and created a new module if you look at my Instagram account you'll see the finished tree and it looks amazing it's very easy to do so if you have a bonsai tree and you want to make it a spooky tree for Halloween you don't have to dismantle it too much you just have to replace the leaves just like you would if you put the frogs on and just create a new pattern awesome stream thank you oh good I'm glad you enjoyed that yeah it was a lot of fun to do and I was very excited about it okay Sarah's now in the bathroom <laughs> so I hope uh, she's she's looking around are you do you need to do I need to take a break again all right I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep a watch on her real quick we'll see how she does come here Sarah come here can you can you stay here can you stay be a good girl okay so she's right now she's right by me all right so real quick do I still uh, let's say I'll just check on the chat I can only stay okay I think I'm ca caught up Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to review the standard really fast. So this is on my Instagram account. I posted this a few weeks ago. And just to kind of review what the standard is. It's an 8x8 stud base. So as I mentioned, 8x8 studs, 6 bricks tall. And it's a bunker for a baby or you can make it a small figure. So for example, I have... Okay, I'm just checking on Sarah. <laughs> I have Liz. Liz is a small character that could fit into a bunker. You could put, here, you could put a dog in there. Here's a little Labrador. You wanted to put a Labrador in there. Or if you wanted to put Baby Yoda, you could put Baby Yoda in there. So it's, it's really just this size. The other thing that is in the standard is a one by two Technic brick for lighting. And then you also have a door in the back so the character can get in and out of the bunker and then you have jumpers on top so that they can be stacked and if you take a look there have already been a few people who have posted some of these and a couple of guidelines is subscribe to this YouTube channel which you already clearly are because you're here <laughs> then post it on to Instagram with the hashtag baby brick bunkers and then just tag me so then that way I know that it's there. And I'm gonna just double check on the chat because I know that sometimes my system isn't working. Okay, good. So I'm, I'm still caught up with chat. And the last thing that I'm gonna uh, mention here is that the review is going to be on Sunday, October 17th at one o'clock p.m. And then the top three winners are going to get a prize pack. And I'm still building the prize packs so just be patient with me as I put that together. And I'm happy to report that two of my judges are going to be Lana and Vanessa Riccardi, or Zicardi. <laughs> Sorry, I said Riccardi. So the, the Zicardi sisters have agreed to do that. And why is my other thing showing? <laughs> Hold up, there you get to read my email. There we go, that's better. So let me, uh, let me go back to my system here. Wow. Wow, let me just, let me just get rid of that. That's like scary. <laughs> okay, there we go. You have a full-sized Lego Stormtrooper because the Empire had budget cuts to build the second Death Star. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as it's on an 8x8. So here's our eight by eight. Okay, good. Um, Sarah is now just kind of laying down next to me, so she's okay. All right, so you got an eight by eight as your base. Uh, this happens to be the last one I have because I've been doing a lot of building and I haven't had a chance to really do much shopping. So I'm gonna be building on this eight by eight tan. And I wanted to just give you a sense of the doors. As I mentioned, there should be a door in the back as well as a one by two for a lighted brick. So I have a couple of one by twos here. And depending on the color scheme we go with, these are the ones that I have. I have a couple of whites, I have a, a tan, and I have a blue one. And then, depending on the character as well, I have a couple different options for doors. So this is one that I've used, and it's essentially a pillar with two clips. And then what's interesting about this is that this style door you actually have to put it on backwards <laughs> and the reason for that 
Here, I'll show you the two different ways. Is if you put it on the uh, regular way, let me focus this. Let's see if this, yeah, there we go. So if you put this on the regular way, it's recessed in the back. But if you put it on backwards, then it's flush here on this side and it will open up this way. So this is one option that I have available. Another one is I used a window and a shutter. And the thing is, I only have one door, but normally I would put two doors, but then I looked at this, I said, you know, this could be like, you know, when you see those doors with the side window so you could see who's at the door. So this could work too, just having the one door and then the open panels there. And then another thought I had is I have this garage door kind of thing. I'm not even sure if it's a garage door, but that's kind of what I'm visualizing. And you could put either, this is a one by, it looks like a one by three uh, brick with the two clips. And this could raise up like this, or maybe sideways if you want a wider door. Or you can just use the clips on the side, like a one by one clip, and then attach it based on you know the calculation. So we have a couple different options here. So they had to do some budget cuts, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry about the Death Star. So I figure probably the first step is to think about the character. What character do you want? And I just realized you can't see anything. Hold up. All this time I was talking and you couldn't see what I was seeing. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll go back and review this again. Eight by eight and then you have this as an option. I mentioned that this has a side door. So the purple door here could be a side door and these could be viewed as like a side window. Like if you were at a, a home that uh, you wanna see who's at your door, you could do that. Cause I couldn't find another uh, shutter. And then here's the other one that I was explaining that you couldn't see, <laughs> you just saw my, my other view. And this is where I was explaining that when you put it on right side up, here, let me do this the correct way. So I have this one by three pillar with the two clips. If you put this the correct way, it actually um, could still work, but it's recessed. I prefer it to be this way. And then that way it's flush. The lower the minimum wage for the store troopers in the outer room. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Sarah's behind me. All right. So stormtroopers and living wages. Yeah, that's true. All right. So now, once again, we have to decide on what character we want to use for this particular bunker. So I've I've got a couple different options here. I've got Grogu. If we want to do like a Mandalorian kind of theme, I've got Liz, which is another like the Friends kind of bunker. I've got this little baby, but I did do another bunker already with the pink baby. So I'm kind of not leaning towards that. And here's another thought. Um, Yano River Blue isn't on right now, but he, she had this challenge of micro figs of yourself. And this is my micro fig and I'm with Brickworm. So Baby Yoda gets your vote, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Baby Yoda is probably, or I should say Grogu. Grogu is probably really popular. Okay, so if we go with Grogu, then Grogu really has, you know, a couple options with this and maybe this. And I was looking to see if I have any other colors for the door, because, you know, in the Star Wars universe, this isn't really that popular or common. And I did try to put this one in, but this one is just a little bit too fat. Friends theme is your vote? Oh, okay. <laughs> the micro figs are cool, yeah. Well, you know, going and looking at the doors that I have, I mean, these are my three door options. And I, I'm kind of leaning towards what Big Block was saying, that maybe the Friends micro doll might be the way to go. And I have a couple other micro dolls. We don't have to go with Liz necessarily, but I just grabbed Liz because she was handy. I do have a couple other options, and we can always change it later. 
So micro figs are cool. Yeah, these micro figs are also the other reason why I thought those might be kind of fun to do is that uh, it would showcase another thing that Yano has, has done and maybe people might be into that. Grogu is a 50 year old who doesn't want to be patronized like a baby. <laughs> okay, okay, so I guess we're leaning towards friends or a micro doll of some sort, which is kind of cool because I honestly, looking at these, I kind of want to try this door. I think this kind of garage door kind of look, and I don't know if Dave's still here, but I don't know if anybody's used a garage door kind of feel for their bunker. So if you can imagine the side of the bunker, that this will be a, a kind of a garage door open to go into her bunker. So, okay, so I think we're in agreement we're gonna go with friends. Because if you look at the size of this door, this door is actually perfect for her size. Okay, that's a fancy door, yeah. Well, the other thing about this door is it's got these studs on the front, so you can also decorate the front as well. Dave's not here, man. <laughs> Cheech and Chong. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and we've decided we're gonna do the friends. We're gonna go with this new kind of door. I also had one of these as another option that this is also kind of like a garage door kind of look and she could potentially fit with that too but i was kind of leaning towards this because i had it in my collection i thought it would be kind of cool and it would work with friends i i know the perfect piece to put on that door oh okay okay all right so it sounds like we're gonna lean towards friends all right now if you you read the bunker standard which i've made a tiny url let me put that in the chat that tinyurl.com slash brick bunkers that's the original standard which is a 16 by 16 so we've pretty much cut it in half and what the original standard talked about was making the exterior walls this kind of a neutral color so I've grabbed a bunch of these dark tan masonry bricks that we can use for that and we don't have to use this color. We could use a variety of colors, but I also got inspired by Debo because Debo recently posted one and he used translucent bricks. He used translucent blue, but I grabbed a bunch of these because I thought those might be kind of cool too. All right, you know the perfect piece to put on that door? Okay, so we'll, we'll get to that. So just to kind of start is that you have the front here and then the back is going to be here. So we've already decided we're going to use this door, which is, it looks like four studs wide. So I think we're going to, I'm going to just kind of frame up the door first. I think that would probably be a good plan, is that if we kind of get a sense of what the door is going to look like in the back, that helps shape kind of the rest of it. And you could do it any way you want. And like I said, there's a lot of flexibility in this standard, but thought you might be interested. And I know uh, Brick Block was asking me specifically to do a quick tutorial on this. And, and now that I know you can see what I'm seeing, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm still getting used to streaming. And so here's something to keep in mind is that it's gonna be six bricks tall and for me to make this look elegant, I'm gonna to have to put a plate down here, like a plate level. So that means that I'm going to have to adjust either the entire thing or just this section so that it will line up to be brick level. So in other words, I need to find a one by four plate or tile. Sorry, I misspoke, a one by four tile. And I don't know if I have the dark tan, but I do have a regular tan. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm with a regular tan here. So that's gonna raise this up a little bit, but we need something smooth. So then that way it will raise up like that. Yeah, and like I said, we're gonna need some adjustment because we're gonna have to put some hinges here to, to make this door work. But I'm really excited. I'm stoked about this door. This door is something I'm very intrigued about. Okay, so the front's gonna be open. So we can just keep adding a few of these bricks. And we've got the first layer pretty much 
done. And then as you start building these, you can adjust it too. Use the heart Lego stud covers and the rainbow set. <laughs> yeah, that would be adorable. That is true. That would be adorable. Yeah. And like I said, we have this. We're going to use this hinge door, which I think is going to be fun because that's different. It didn't say what kind of door it had to be. It just said you needed a door in the back. So uh, we're going to be, you know, kind of tweak the spec a little bit for our means. And I think really the first thing I want to do is get this door nailed down. So since we're going to need some hinge clips here, is my guess is I'm going to need some sort of L bracket or something as we um, build this up. So let's go ahead and build it up. And then we can add some embellishments later because I think what I'm going to do is, what I usually like to do is add a couple uh, brackets, like down brackets. Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Is that sometimes I like to add down brackets and the down brackets give me a, a way to put artwork and some other things in there. So let's go ahead and build this up and get that door secured. So I'm at up to three bricks. This is actually going to be pretty tall. It's actually, I think, going to be four or five bricks tall. So let's, let's see what happens. We still have enough because, like I said, it has to be six bricks according to this new standard. So it should be, should be in pretty good shape. And i got to build up this side as well. Get that door going. Yeah, no, I'm really excited about how um, I, I wasn't able to attend BrickCon. As you know, I had a family emergency. But it seems like the bunkers got some good feedback. A couple people stopped and asked about that. So, okay. All right, so I'm looking at this right now. And it looks like we are at one, two, three, four. Four bricks tall. And then if we add another plate, like a, um, I'm thinking a corner plate, two corner plates so that we have something to attach the, um, the clip. Yeah. You know, I have a ton of corner plates. I mean, look at these. <laughs> I've got so many of these. In fact, I've got so many white ones. I think I'm gonna use white because this way, the white will look really good with the pink, I think. So you'll see the method to my madness here is that this, this is gonna go here and hopefully the clip, ooh, I wonder if we're gonna need to raise it one more. Okay, I'm gonna put some clips down because remember we have one plate here we have one plate as the bottom. We have another plate here and this third plate. That makes it already one brick. So we might have to do some adjustment, but I do happen to have some clips right here. These, these are these one by one with vertical clip. I'm just gonna put these down here. If I had them in white handy, I might change them out later, but I don't have them handy right now, so but this is kind of a proof of concept kind of thing. Okay, so we have those clips, and let's see how this looks. Will this fit? Oh, I've got to move it over one more. No! All right, see, this is where this horizontal piece might have to be the one that I have to use. So I might have to figure out a way to put that in there. See, I thought I could put that in directly there. So that's, see, this is why we do this. Because, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to do some finessing. Because this isn't the way this was intended, the way I'm using this door. But that's why it's a mock. Okay, so let's just see what we can do with this. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need a side bracket with snot to attach this door. Yeah, so let me see see what I got. It's got a side with a snot on it. 
So I've got something like this, but it needs to be actually, I think a one by two. I think it's gonna have to be a one by two down bracket. And I'm thinking about this one. So if I put this down, oops. And then this hopefully will fit here. I will need to add a stud, I think. Ooh, wow. Yeah, the math is getting getting complicated. We're gonna have to add add another one by two, looks like. This is why I mentioned mocking sometimes can be a little complicated, but if you have the tools and you have the bricks, it can, you can make it happen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the white. Let's see. Let's see what what happens here. And I might have to move this down one. Let's move that down there. Aha! Look at that. And look, it matches perfectly at the bottom. So what I had to do is put this one by two down bracket and I had to raise it up a plate, but now it fits perfectly. And this is exposed right now. And I don't really know if there's a way I can secure that down. I think it's gonna have to rely on that one so right now I'm gonna rely on that being secure enough and probably just cover that stud with a plate. Maybe a one by one snot brick. A uh, one by one snot brick. That is nice and centered. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna work. I think this is gonna work okay. And there is a bit of a gap though here, which kind of bothers me because this is not the way this was intended. But, you know, we're being innovative here. <laughs> I'm trying to think, how would I manage that? That's almost like you need a frame of some sort. But for now, I mean, it still looks fairly decent for what we're doing. And let's see what happens when I start building up on there. Okay, so now that I know what I've done here, we've used a plate and two here and then two, and then we would just need one across the top to make it even. And I think this is going to be, here, let me, let me, let me get a one by eight plate of some sort. And like I said, I'm just gonna use white because it seems like that's gonna be the easiest thing. So this will come across and then connect with another and it's a bunker right so <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect and let me zoom out a little bit because i know i'm getting taller here yeah i, I think that's gonna work i think you know this will be she's got the roll roll top door <laughs> so i'm gonna add the bricks on this side so then this has something to attach to Let's see how that looks. But yeah, no, thank you, Big Block, for asking asking me to build one of these live. Because, like I said, it, they're, not, they're not hard to do. And what's nice is that once you've got the basic structure, you can, you know, build a couple of these. A couple of them at a clip. Okay, it looks like I'm going to need a plate. Ooh, a corner plate would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's do that. And I think one, two, I think I'm gonna need one more. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need one more to go there. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Look at that. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. And then I could put another white one going across the top and fill this in with uh, some 
Now I do have to put the one by two lighted brick in the back somewhere too to add light. So I could remove that brick to do that. So let's count how many bricks we have. We have one, two, three, oops, let me get this. One, two, three, four, five, five and one third. So we're really close to six already. So I think I'm gonna take one of these out and put the lighted brick in there. So yeah. It's a great thing about Lego. It's easy to remove. So let's get this cross piece off. Yeah, I think we're gonna use, I think I'm gonna use the white lighted brick to bring in some more white into this color palette. So see how, how that's coming together? All right, so now what I need to do is I need some one-by-ones to fill in the gaps. Oops, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm being extra careful, too, about what I drop on the floor now that I have a dog. Okay, so you see what I've done there? I just added two one-by-ones there. And I hope I have this color, this dark tan. I think I do. And one-by-ones. And I don't know how all of you sort your one-by-ones, but this is how I do it. <laughs> I stack them. I stack them and I put them together. And so, okay. So that looks pretty good. And then we'll put the one by one. Actually, I could probably use a two by eight now that we have this. Let me see if I have a two by eight in white. Uh, my two by eights are in here. I don't know if I have them in white, but I do have two one by eights. So we're covered there. Two by eights. Two by eights. Okay, I don't have it in white. I have it in though the the tan color. So I'm gonna go with the white. I'm gonna go with two one by eights. Just because it'll it'll look nicer. Because it is about aesthetics in addition to providing a living space for this, this character. Okay, so look at that. We've got this nice door for the character to come in and it's solid. Even though it's a little, it's got some gaps on either side. I mean, I, if I really wanted to be particular, I would figure out a way to fill in, fill in those gaps, but this is a different kind of door we're using. And theoretically, if you had a door frame, that's how that gap would be filled anyway. If you have any ideas on how I might fill those gaps, let me know. But I think it still looks really good. I think, you know, it's a bunker. <laughs> okay, so now here's the other side of the bunker. And we agreed that Liz was going to be our character in here. And you can see she's got a door to get in and the light brick will allow for lighting, so we're good there. And it has to be on this back wall because the back wall is where all the strings of lights will connect all the different baby bunkers. So that's why that needs to be there. Okay, so this is still a little squirrely, but I'm trying to think if there's another way I can attach it. I might be able to do a one by one, um, what, do, what do you call it, a down? A down bracket, maybe? Let me see what I got. I don't like to see things that are kind of... I'm thinking about this piece here. So it has a stud, and it has a, an opening. So then that way... All right, let me see if I can finesse this. That way it has some security to it. It's not just flapping in the wind. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. 
So you see what I've done there is I've added that bracket. And let's see if we can get this all to align. Yep. All right, now it's secure. You see that? I've got that bracket there. The door can open and it's solid. It does have the gaps, but like I said, we knew about that. But I like that. I like I like that as another way to put in a door. Okay. All right, so now if we just calculate this, we have one, one, two, three, which is one brick and one. And then here's a one, two, three. And we have the gap, so we're, we're, we're okay. I'm just looking at this, and for some reason it looks a little off. Why is that? Why is that off a little bit? Oh, it's because of that bracket. See, that bracket pulled it down just a hair. So it's almost as if I would need to put that same bracket on the other side. So I'm, I might need to rethink that bracket. It does keep it secure, though, so I kind of like that. All right. Boy, this is, this is getting, now I'm getting particular <laughs> because I like it to be even. But, oh uh, boy. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna see what, see what happens is it's off by that much when I even it out. So I think what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna take that bracket back out for now because I think I could figure that out later. But at least we know there is a possibility to secure it using that. But I kind of liked it the way it was before. So we're gonna secure this again using these side, oops. Yeah. So going back to that. Isn't that weird about, I guess, I don't know if it's OCD or something, but you just like things to look nice, you know? <laughs> At least I do. I would like to think that. Okay, so now, now we know we only have two more plates that we can put on top, and we need to keep jumpers in the picture. And right now I'm looking at my jumpers, what colors I have. And I think I might go maybe with, oops, that's orange, I don't want that. I've got this Friends burgundy-ish color, so magenta. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to need to have one more set of plates on top and then the jumper, and that should be six. I'm just gonna take a look at this real quick. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, it should be two, three, four, five, six, yep. Okay, so let me, let me get another set of one by eights. So we're gonna go with this dark tan, one by eights in white, and then the burgundy for jumpers. Okay, and put that burgundy on the edge. Okay. Now, you don't have to have this fully enclosed. You could make this so then that way you can have your jumpers on, on each side and have an open air because the, the next uh, bunker on top of that will cover this up. So right now, I think I'm gonna build this up. But now, now this is where you start thinking, do you want shelves? I think I'm gonna put the shelves on this side because the shelving just because we've done all this 
these changes here. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm wondering if I should make these instead of dark tan. Maybe I should make those white. Now that I'm talking out loud. Let's see. Okay, I think we're gonna have to stick with the, uh, the dark tan for now. I can't seem to find the whites. Okay, we'll stick with dark tan, that's fine. All right, let me put some of this away. So here's a, a, a tip. If you want to put in shelving for a bunker of this size, you use a two by six. And the reason why I say a two by six is that, um, or a two by eight is certainly possible. Oh, hey, April Crazy Brooks. Good to see you here on YouTube. I usually see you on Twitch. Hello, you're sorting Lego. Okay, no worries. Yeah, I think I'm gonna um, look for, let me look for some two by sixes. Let me see what colors I have because since we are now doing the friends colors, we can we can add some color on this side. I do have a pink shelf. We could put a pink shelf in there. I don't have white, unfortunately. And I'm just looking at the colors I do have. I think what we may want to do is we may want to do a combination of this pink and then this dark red. And remember, um, we're trying to keep with the six, six um, bricks tall. So we're gonna be doing this. And the other reason why this will be helpful is that when I start putting these down, this will lock in the wall as well. All right, so we're gonna add some more. Your living room TV is not as great as your PC, but you can get YouTube. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I'm putting in shelves because you have to keep this flush. You can't have it um, going the other way. And I'm just looking at these profile bricks to make sure the brick looks uniform yeah these are fun to build and like i said i mean i've only been streaming for 40 minutes and it's almost done right i mean they're really really fun to do and like i said we're gonna put a couple of friends colors in here just to kind of make it more friends like and before i seal this up the other thing you want to put on your shelves are, you know, cups, glasses, cans, cylinders, whatever you want to decorate it. But right now I want to see how this is going to look as far as shelving. So yeah, this is barely going to make it if I put it like this, which I think, I think it's going to be fine. See, now I have two bricks high, but since this is an open air, I, I have a little bit of leeway. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, so let's keep those shelves there and let me just show you what I mean by adding things to the shelf. So what I, I usually kind of like to make a joke that you gotta have toilet paper <laughs> if you're in your bunker, right? So let's put some toilet paper on the bottom shelf. And this is nice too because when you when you build it like this then you have a sense of um, uniformity too when you're when you're uh, lining things up together so like for example I'm gonna be putting three three of these white cylinders here you can see on the side like that and if I wanted to like for example, this gray could be like gray cans of food. I also have some gold ones, which are in another 
another bin. I keep my gold pieces in another bin, but for the sake of just kind of demonstrating what we're doing here, put this in. And grab a white. I'm looking for any kind of color. So I do have some red, but I kind of want, like I said, I'm looking for more friends colors. So I have this lavender a little bit, not a lot, but I have a little bit. And where's the white? Okay, so you can see how this is coming together. And the lavender, might have to leave that for later just looking at it i'm just going to put some contrasting color which is still kind of appealing so i'm looking at this i think this blue will look really good oops is that a trans blue do not want that and, it, and this is a bunker right so if things aren't perfect <laughs> that's okay so for example I only have two of these blues, so I'm going to add a purple in there just to kind of mix it up. But, you know, if you have OCD, that, that may not work for you, <laughs> but do whatever works for you. Okay, you see how that's coming along there? So you have the shelves that you've set up. Oh, hey, GLW Grasshopper, how are you doing? We are making a bunker. And I was just showing how you can make shelves and make it look like you have supplies on your shelves. And then this last section, because this only has two plates left, then you're go going to have to go with either, I don't know, uh, plates, like one by one plates or tiles or um, studs. Or you can do a combination of them. So I have some of these gold ones, so I figured I could put a, maybe a couple gold ones here. Now that's getting kind of close, but I may just do one layer. Is that the little friend's gift from the poly bag? Yes, it is. <laughs> that is Liz. So this is going to be Liz's bunker and you know she's got her little supplies there on her shelf and uh, you know if I wanted to build like a little um, almost like a little kitchen area I could but right now I'm just trying to um, work this out so then that way we have the studs that will fit here and I only have So I think what I'm going to do here, this back wall, as you can see, is not going to be seen, so I, I need to maybe use a neutral color. So I'm going to use this gray over here on the back. And then once again, the jumper can go here because the jumper is going to connect the next one up. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep this as an open air kind of bunker, I think for, for what we're doing for Liz. And I just noticed her hair is all messed up. Gotta get that lined up. There we go. Okay. So this is Liz's supplies in her bunker. And since this is open air, I think we can just fill this in with a, any color studs we want. Just to kind of represent, you know, different different things she may be storing or want, a, want to have access to. Oops, ah! <laughs> Thankfully it's Lego, so easy to fix. That happened to me yesterday when I was streaming. 
And when you're having the back wall, I do recommend going with a neutral color. So I think we're going to go back with that gray on the neutral wall. Hopefully I have enough. Boone is going to be excited. I just found more Bionicles to give to him. Oh, okay. You gave him a bunch of gallon-sized bags of Bionicle <laughs> when you went to Brick Slopes. You can't believe you, you found more, yeah? Well, Lena, who is, I think, still on the stream, she has a bunch of Bionicle, and she, uh, or sorry, they, They've been telling me that they, they want to uh, build some Bionicle on stream, which would be fun. Now I'm looking at this and I'm even thinking a one by four, actually, or one by six might actually be better here on the back instead of these studs. At least it's not brown Lego. Those are always cursed to snap. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh my gosh, the curse of the reddish brown and the brown <laughs> brown uh, bricks uh, one by six okay Let's see if I have yeah I do have a light gray this is perfect this is actually better because it'll look better on the outside instead of having these studs yeah this will look a lot better So you see how that looks better on the outside. And then we have the jumper on top. So this is Liz's supply station. And if I wanted to, I could also put a tile down there. And give it a more finished look. Let's see. I think this is the right color, burgundy. Yeah. That actually looks really good. So you see how this will now attach to the next bunker. And go ahead, go ahead and put this here. And then I think we'll have one more for the, the last one. So we'll do that on this side. Yeah, so we'll keep this as an open air bunker. And, and like I said, I like to use down brackets. For this wall and the other fun thing is using tiles that are printed tiles like you'd see in uh, for example some of the friend sets and others that have maps and other things. So I think I have a map and some others that would look really cool. So since we're using white, I'm thinking that maybe kind of lower, we might want to do that. Or, you know, we could, we could pretend like she's watching TV. The only problem I have with these friends is that, that you can't make them look like they're sitting. They're like, they're always standing. <laughs> so like, does she have a couch or she's always standing all the time? All right, so let's see what I have because here's another thought is if we put on here, I might have a black two by four. Because if I have a black two by four, that, that can almost look like a television. Mm, maybe not. You know what happened is that I recently submitted a mock to um, BrickCon, and I think all my two by four dark black or my black plates are there or tiles. Yeah, yeah. Now this is kind of a cool color, this purple. I'm gonna set that aside. Here are the printed, the printed tiles I was talking about. So if she's a Batman fan, for example, that might be kind of cool. I could put that on the wall. 
Let's see, what else do I have in here that might be kind of cool? Uh, now this could be fun if I put this on the floor, almost like a rug, if she had a little chair. That's one thought. Ooh, I forgot I had this. I had put this aquarium sticker on this two by four. Oh, Joel's here. Hey, how's it going? I think I'm gonna try that. So she might have an aquarium <laughs> in her, her little uh, bunker. And let's see, what else could she have that might be kind of fun? Uh, let's see. I do have a map of the world. So she could reminisce about how things were before. Or I could use one of these wasteland looking ones. I've got this map. That might be, that might be fun. Yeah. Okay. So I think what I need to do is I need to make her like a little bed and maybe a burner of some sort. 13 tall. Uh, that's for the regular size. That's the regular bunkers. We're making baby bunkers. This is actually an evolution or spin-off from the original. So these are eight by eight and six bricks tall. This is probably an easier view. So, and what I did is I used this as a garage door as her door entry, which is a little different. Yeah. So yes, you're right, GOW Grasshopper. If you've made bunkers before, they're usually that size, but we're, we're doing a spin-off. Yeah, so I think I need to make her a bed. What I have seen some people do is they use the front here to make a bed and we could still put a wall hanging there I might have to punt on the idea of an aquarium in there which I, I do think is kind of funny I'm, I haven't given up on that yet but if we do make a bed for her because that would be about four yeah yeah that could work because like I said she always looks like she's standing all the time so let's make her a little bed shall we Okay, so that's easy to do. So here's a quick and, and easy way to make a bed, is you take a plate, a two by four plate of some sort. Um, this is Frenzo, let's go with a colorful pinkish color. Doesn't have to be, I know that's a stereotype, but since she's wearing yellow, this pink will look really good next to it and it would be good if I put that in the frame you can kind of see her there okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a a one by two tile we'll put the one by two tile as a pillow and then you could put like a patchwork of different um, one by one squares. To, to make it almost look like a quilt. And I'm looking to see what colors I have handy. It would be nice if I had pink, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to go into my dots collection. I might have to go with this green and a white. I don't have a lot of colors that would kind of coordinate with that. I do have this blue though, this dark blue. Yeah, let me see if I can dig up three, maybe pink would be great. If I had pink and blue, let me see what I can find. Because if you're wondering, I, I keep my dots in their original bins. So I've got these. And, you know, I don't have to make a patchwork. I could just, you know, make make it look like a, I don't know, 
Let me let me let me uh, think out loud for a moment. <laughs> like I... Yeah. See, I have quarter rounds, so maybe we do. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do some free forming right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have some yellow. I have some, and you know, I'm not big on this color, but I might have some square butter yellow. Yeah, I do. And, and it's not that I'm against the color. I just don't use it very often. So, so those of you, you know, who are, who might be upset that I'm not a big yellow, butter yellow fan, there, we'll use this butter yellow with this blue and kind of make a, a little quilt to go onto that bed. I read your title as you were making a bunker for a baby, hence the little girl. <laughs> My bad. No worries, no worries. This was actually by request, so Big Block was on one of my streams and asked if I would do a tutorial on how to build one of these bunkers. And I said, yeah, I think I could do that. Maybe it'll encourage more people to do them. So yeah, so here we've got this little patchwork going. And maybe for contrast, I should change that white for another color for the pillow. Let's see. What do I got? Like a baby blue might be nice, huh? Or I could use that same dark blue. Or maybe gray. Let's see. What do we want for a pillow? Or do I keep the original white? Because the yellow kind of makes... Oh, maybe yellow. Do I have that yellow, that light yellow? I have a tan. Hmm. What would work for a pillow? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might have those, what do you call them? Um, I call them tombstone bricks <laughs> or tombstone one by ones. What about a one by two slope? Yeah, similar to that, but I'm thinking of this. Yeah this this rounded one if i put two of these here look at that if i can find another one i think i might have a second one here aha so we got we got that <laughs> we got that going on for her bed so that would kind of go here but before we do that oh thank you zach martinez before we do that, I want to put some um, studs on the bottom to lift the bed up a little bit. Yeah, they look like pillows, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Zach? Welcome to the stream. We're doing a quick tutorial on uh, building a baby bunker. We're almost done, actually. And we were just talking about bake making a bed for poor Liz because she's always standing all the time. There's no way to make her sit down. So we're making her a bed, and this looks like it'll be like perfect size bed for her. And I'm just gonna raise this up with some studs on the bottom. And I think I'll use this pink, because I have a ton of it. <laughs> I have so much pink. I don't know why I have so many pink studs. I think it's because it was at a pick-a-brick wall. And you know if you fill up a pick-a-brick cup, that to fill in the gaps, you just find anything that is like really small. And I think I just picked a bunch of these. The bunker's looking good. Thank you. Yeah. It's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Okay. So that I think, yeah, I think that's about right. So do we want to put that here or maybe we put it in the back? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll put it in the back here. What do you think? There's several places. We could put it there, or we can maybe put it on the side so it goes in like that. So that's kind of like her bed back there. 
but the door opens right in, so, you know, maybe she, maybe she sleeps, like I said, she could be sleeping right here. I'm going to go with this for now. We can always move it. Dead Mario is over there again. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody was going to ask about Dead Mario, so yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I think if Cornado had jumped in, he would have said that right away. He does not like dead Mario. Mario is evil. <laughs> yeah, he kind of is evil, isn't he? And he's tired right now. All right, so we're going to finish this up here. And then we're going to add, I think, some artwork. Yeah, I think doing micro furniture is a lot of fun. So she's got her little bed. I think we might want to give her... I have a little micro lamp actually already made somewhere. Where was that? Ah, there it is. Hold up. I had some lamps here. I have this gold lamp and I also have this black one. So I think the gold lamp actually would work well. So all it is, it's a, a spyglass and a translucent radar dish and a translucent one by one. Didn't you buy the Luigi set? Maybe he needs a fellow dead eye buddy. <laughs> Actually, now that you mention it, I think Luigi is close by. Yeah. So here's Luigi. <laughs> Here we go. So yes, clearly people are regulars. So they, they know <laughs> that I have both. There you go. So we have both. Okay, so we have a little lamp near her, her bed. Probably, I, like I said, I was going to make like just a little stove top for her. And that's easy to do. Because all you have to do is get... Hey girl, how you doing? And if we want to keep with the kind of the pinkish theme, or maybe I, I go with another color that m more matches the, uh... so yeah, more neutral color. So you just get a two by two brick and then add four um, studs that are like maybe black or silver. In fact, ooh, I don't think I have four of these, but here are some of those chrome ones. So this looks like a burner. Oops. All right, well, I lost one. So so you can see, let me zoom in so you can see it better. So you see how I put two of those silver ones and I dropped one, don't see it. And maybe we'll put well, maybe we'll do it this way. This is what happens when you run low on parts as you, you improvise. So I'm putting black on the two corners and then the chrome on the other two corners. Mario's eyes glow because he has the power of an immortal being. <laughs> Can't call him by his name. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put this here as kind of like a little kitchen. And then, let me see if I, do I have a faucet? I do have a faucet somewhere. All right, so what we're gonna do too, so we're gonna just set this down as her little kitchen area. And the way to make a sink really kind of easily is, is you use these panels or half panels. So if you take, Let's see what I have as far as half panels. Uh, I do have a pink one. I'm actually looking for the corner ones. I could have sworn I had some corner ones. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have this corner one, which is kind of cool. That could be like a backsplash. Where am I corner? Oh, I think I know where they are. Uh, 
Well, this one, this one is, like I said, we have we have this larger corner thing. That might be a awfully big. <laughs> But, I mean, maybe she likes to be clean. So you, you make this, like, massive sink <laughs> that goes in the corner over here. I mean, you got to do with, you know, use what you have, right? So now what I'm going to do is look for a faucet. And I do have these. So let me just think, think this through. Because if I put this in the corner here, I'll have to raise it just a little bit. I might be able to do it this way. Yeah, I might have to make it a big... She's just going to have a big sink. Because <laughs> this is going to go up against the wall. And then I'll have to put like a, a one by 2 there. And then I have... Some, some of these that can be faucets. So this is how the faucets are gonna work. Actually, let's go with white. Black is too stark. The Sims is fun. Should you be doing Lego stuff, but um, you're gonna go play the Sims. <laughs> okay, AJ Suave, no problem. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, is we're going to raise this up, because remember, this is a brick. So I think if we, let me just set this in here, which is another reason why it's good that it's open air right now, is that if we set this down roughly here, which actually doesn't look too bad. She just likes a nice big sink. <laughs> actually, the height is fine because you can see that the height matches this stove. So what I really need is just a one by two in the back and then I'll put these on top. Okay, so let me get grab a one by two and I use a tan, tan one by two, just to make it simple. And did I already bring my tan one by twos out? I did. Or I could make it white, or I could do do a contrasting color, just to maybe I should just to give it to make it pop a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna use that same dark tan. And we're going to put these two faucets on here. That's the bathtub and a sink. Oh, yeah. Okay. She, she has to double and use them both. Actually, I probably should do a different color, huh? Maybe white and black or something? Well, let's go with the two whites for now. Let's see how this is going to look. So just to kind of show you before we put it into the bunker is that this would sit right there like that yeah actually the two whites are fine i think we'll just we'll just roll with that so just to put it more in the camera frame you can see okay so now what we're going to do is place these down and if you want to it's lego so you can pull that off of the wall <laughs> set these in and then put the wall back yeah okay so Liz just has a big sink slash bathtub I agree with you that works and then we're gonna put this back so so there you go, you have a little sink, you've got the burner, you've got your provisions up top, we have a little bed, and I guess what else would Liz have? Like I said, maybe maybe some um, 
Like I'm looking at this wall and I think this is where this would be an ideal place to put some artwork. So I think maybe we'll put a bracket here and put some artwork. And oh, this is gonna mess me up, isn't it? Hold up, hold up. I gotta move this over one. Yeah, you, you, you know with Lego, you just have to keep adjusting. A toy like a rubber chicken or a teddy bear. Oh yeah, a teddy bear would be awesome. I just saw a teddy bear, where did I see that? So you see what we're doing is we're adding a place for some artwork here. And I think we could put maybe two, two pieces of art, possibly. I got another white down bracket that we could use. Got another one of these. Yeah, I think the, the teddy bear could be like on the floor next to her maybe. Yeah, I think she needs a teddy bear, I agree. Good call. Okay, so we're gonna put some, oops, sorry. We're gonna put some artwork here. She's got a bed, she's got her burner, and she's got her little things to make food. She doesn't have a toilet though, so she's gonna have to use the community toilet. That's the one thing that, these are so small that it's hard to put everything in there. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, we're doing pretty well. All right, so next, what we need to look at is, uh, yeah, we just need to finish this, it looks like. I'm a little concerned because my stack of white one-by-ones is missing. Okay, not sure where they went. It couldn't have gone far. And don't forget, we also have this lamp we need to put in here. But she has a sink tub. Why not a sink tub bathroom? <laughs> well, you know, why not, right? Maybe, maybe there's like a disposal that could be used for food or for human waste. <laughs> I don't know. That, that is pretty, pretty interesting thought. But it's a bunker, so you have to kind of make do, right? Why is this not clutching? I'm trying to get this lamp to clutch. It's not clutching. There we go. Okay. Now that lamp is too far over. Yeah, this goes back to tear the tear the tear the uh, tear the wall down. It'd be easier to put things in. Taken off G-O-W grasshopper? Or it just says ew. Oh, by Lena. Okay, Lena's taken off. Okay, so we got a lamp. We got that, a bed. We've got the sink and everything. Well, you know, tough times. You know, you gotta make do. All right, I am looking for my one by ones in white. I don't see them. So we're gonna have to make do with this dark tan, because I got those handy. Like I said, you can always tweak things later. And then we need a one by four in white. Okay. See how that's coming together? Man, we could put this as almost like one of those aquariums that are built into the wall. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna put it in as a placeholder. I don't know if this is what we'll go with at the end, but we got a placeholder there. Actually, that looks kind of cool. 
Mr. Gorbachev tear down this wall. <laughs> Tough time you gotta make do. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. If it's a sink, a toilet, and a uh, bathtub all in one. Okay, so let's see. Um, we talked about we need to add a one by six, a couple of one by sixes here. Let's see what I got. I don't have the one by sixes, but I have one by threes. So I like things to be kind of uniform. So I'm thinking these one by threes are gonna look really nice here. Yeah, I like this. Now the next part is the jumper. Now this one doesn't have an overhang so I could put a two by two here as a possibility. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Do I have a two by two in? Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. I've got one of these. If I lower that, I could also use this too for something. Hold up. Sometimes, oh, that could be cool. Hmm. And I just noticed I have some one by twos here. Look at that. And now I've got a place for a jumper. Look at that. Very cool. All right. And we also have that one by four that can go here. And now we have also a couple connection points that we can, we can play with. Like this one, I think I'm just gonna put a tile in there. Let's see if I have a one by one in white. I think I do. One by one square in white, just to fill that gap. Oops. I know my, my hands are pretty pretty big here. Let me zoom out just a hair. So this is the stud that I want to cover up. Put that there. So that'll look nice and clean. And then this will look really nice over that. That's looking pretty good. Now we have this that we can attach something to. And I'm thinking I might have a white, or not a white, a, a printed tile that's a one by two or a one by three. A one by three would be ideal. So these are my tiles again, and I'm looking for something that's a one by three. And you know what I got that's a one by three, which is kind of, might be kind of cool, is I have this <laughs> plank. But uh, let's see, what else do I have that's a one by three that might be printed? Well, this might be a callback to my Spice Pirate Ship. <laughs> spice. Uh, let's see. Or I yeah, it's got to be a 1x3, because a 1x4 would have an overhang. I could put a jumper there and put a 1x2 printed. Now, this one's kind of tongue-in-cheek, but we could do the cookies <laughs> for the Girl Scouts. Uh, let's see, what else do I have here that's 1x2s that could be kind of fun? Ooh, I also have some round 2x2s. But I think that would, I, I think it needs to be clean and just going across. So I'm, I'm thinking, let's see, what else is here that's a one by two printed that could be kind of fun. Now this is 
I don't know if this has to be vertical, but this has, I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in for you. It's a, um, it's a music tile, but it's vertical. See, if I turn this sideways, it won't look right. That's kind of cool. So unfortunately, that's not going to work. But it was a cool thought. Okay, well, looking at the color palette and all of this, what is this? This, this looks interesting. Let's take a look. Like I said, it's like, it's hard to read. A <laughs> turbo. <laughs> and it's yellow. That's kind of funny. You think that came in a friend set? Yeah. Yeah, that, that music tile looked really cool, but it's not the right orientation. It's, I would prefer it to be... Um, now this could this could work. This came from a friend's set. This is from like the hairdresser set. And I wonder if it goes right here. But it might look a little... I think it needs to be cleaner because it covers up that, that other thing in the back. Okay, so I'm going to just make an executive decision here. And I think I'm going to do that. Let's go with the the turbo. Oh, here we go. I got the solution. We'll do one of these. It's a like a thermostat and kind of controls. So I'm going to put a jumper here and this will be centered right there. We got it. I love it when a plan comes together. So we'll put these temperature controls here because, you know, she likes things a certain temperature. And, oh, actually, do I need to move that over? What am I trying to do? It needs to be centered. Maybe it's centered already. Hmm. No, one by three definitely does look better. Hmm. Maybe I have a, a one by one tan tile. I do like that thermostat. I do like that a lot. Actually, if I put it here, keep check on the O2 and water levels. Exactly. I think I'll just leave it like that. I would prefer it to be a little bit centered with that white over there, but I'm not sure how to do that. Unless, because it's like a one by three. This I thought this jumper would fix that, but it doesn't. It just keeps it the same. And if I could move it over here, I will check to see if I have a one by one tile in that tan. I don't, I have it in yellow. Yeah, I, I, I guess, let me try. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it like there. It doesn't look too bad. Like I said, for me, I would just want it just a hair centered, but I don't think it looks too bad. I think it, it looks okay. Okay, so now we need Liz. And I just saw her. <laughs> Where did I put Liz? There she is. <laughs> okay, we need Liz in her bunker. And we also need, I think, I, I agree, I think a teddy bear would be cool. Let's put her closer up front so you can actually see her. Yeah, there's so there's Liz in her little bunker. And it's nice when it's open air because then you can see into the bunker too. She has a box of cookies tile. 
I could put the cookies tile somewhere in there if I wanted to, but um, I think this thermometer slash control tile is actually, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so now I gotta find the teddy bear and I just saw it and I'm trying to think where I put it. I think it's in here. Because remember, since Joel have a studs will travel, remember we had the butcher murdering the teddy bear in one of our mock improv sessions? <laughs> so, or attempted murder, because I didn't want to see the, the teddy bear leave. Now, if I wanted to, I could lift up one of these tiles and put the teddy bear right there on the bed. You know, maybe, maybe I should do that, but because there's really no way for Liz to hold the teddy bear. All right, let's see what we do with the teddy bear. Uh, okay, let's lift the bed up. So we're gonna do, let's see what happens if we take this one out. Put the teddy bear in. Oh, it won't fit. Oh, I can replace that with a one by one dark blue. That's what we'll do. That's officer thinking. The teddy bear is over there. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we've got now a stud so the teddy bear can sit on the stud. We'll turn it sideways because it's going to be flush with the wall. Actually, we might have to. Yeah, we can't put it there because it bumps bumps into the uh, the fish tank. So we'll have to put it, I think, up here. We'll put it on this one. Oops, would be good to put the right tile there. Yeah, you know when you're doing these micro builds, positioning means a lot. There we go. So we've got. Oops, sorry, we've got. The teddy bear in here. Actually, before I put that down, let me put the lamp back. The lamp goes behind. Then we've got the bed. Oops, <laughs> of course I knocked the lamp down. All right, we'll put the lamp down again. Okay, got the lamp in, and last thing we need is Liz. Put Liz in there. And this might be where you might want to put a jumper in there just because it's hard to center her in the middle of that. So I'm gonna grab a jumper. Just need a tan jumper. Everything is dark tan in here. I gotta have a light tan jumper in here somewhere. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, it's not cooperating with me, so we're gonna we're gonna use a dark tan jumper in here. Put her kind of forward so you can see her. And centered. So we got Liz's bunker with her teddy bear and she's got a stove, she's got a sink, she's got the uh, supplies on the uh, wall and she's got this door in the back, which, oh, that's right, we haven't finished. We have to decorate the door too. The door lifts up so she can get in. All right. That's actually this, I've been wanting to use this door, so I'm very excited about this. Okay, so let's decorate the back door. And, I mean, we could do a variety of different things. Uh, so I've got all these printed dots. I got a ton of them. So I'm just thinking about, somebody had mentioned a unicorn. 
I don't know how people sort through all these dots. I mean, there's just so many. So I'm honestly, I'm just kind of looking at the color right now. Oh, this one's cute. It's got the cat eyes. <laughs> You got the LED hole next to the door, yeah. Yeah, there's the LED hole right there. But this cat one is kind of cute. I'm going to put that one in the middle. Even though she doesn't have a cat. I guess if I could replace that teddy bear with a cat. So we got the cat. Let's see what else we have in pink. We've got, oh, a bunny rabbit, a cat. <laughs> and what else? Actually, the bunny rabbit's kind of funny, too. So this could be her love of animals. So we got, see the, the little <laughs> animals there? I need a panda, I know. But I don't think they make a panda in tiles like this. In fact, what I should do, oh, I wonder if I have that. See, all my mocks are currently at other people's houses. And I'm trying to think if I have that panda tile close by. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, well, when I find the panda tile, I can replace these. I could put the panda tile on one of these. But for now, so I can finish the stream, I'm going to find another pink square tile. Now, it seems like the pink, they love to do this cat. <laughs> I've got all these cat ones. How many pink tiles have to have cats? There's another rabbit. you got to have something else. Really, that's all you could come up with? Is... It's like, look at this. Okay, this one might be a possibility. I can't even read that. What's that say? Yes or yo or you. Okay, let's see what else we got in pink. More rabbits. Hmm. All right, maybe we'll just have to... Oh, here's a rainbow. Maybe we'll just put a rainbow there at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> You've got a cat, a rabbit, and a rainbow on the front of the door. So you know it's Liz's place. Do three cats? Yeah, I guess I could, I could do three cats. That would be easy if you're a cat lover and it would be uniform or I could have done three uh, rabbits I guess but the three cats do look kind of cool so I mean you know you're at Liz's place if you see the three the three cats on the door oops uh oh uh oh door malfunction Hold up. <laughs> like I said, this, this took some finessing, so there we go. All right. So we got the three cats on the door. And I think, I think we're done. Ta-da! <laughs> yes. If I had music, it would be... And the crowd goes wild. Yep, so this is Liz with her teddy bear. She's got a little bed. She's got a lamp. She's got a little aquarium kind of on the wall. Her temperature thermometer to uh, regulate her O2 levels. Right? <laughs> neko, neko, knee. Yes, it's true. And neko, and for those of you who don't know, neko is uh, Japanese for cat. Yeah. And she's got her supplies on the wall. And like I said, if I were to tweak this a little bit more, what I might do is this, this white, I would probably bring the white over here so it's even. And then this here as well. Or make this, this little bit, that 
that um, this dark tan color but I think it's pretty close to done that back door is perfect <laughs> yes it is perfect did Glenn predict this by saying mew in the beginning actually he didn't say meow in the beginning he said boop so this was very unusual for Glenn to come into a stream without saying meow okay so this is a baby bunker featuring Liz and it's got some friends colors and if I wanted to go even more you could tile in the bottom and put a rug or something in there but I think this is pretty good I think I've been streaming now for an hour and 40 minutes so that's about right okay my friends so let me go to the full screen So there you have it, folks. The baby bunker for Liz. It's an eight by eight, and it's got a door in the back, and we use the garage door method for this one. And it's got the one by two for lighting, so we could light this up later. And then this one is an open air one at the top, So, but when you stack them, it'll be covered. And it's got the cats <laughs> in the back. <laughs> so three cats, which I think is actually pretty funny. So, and we have a stove. I just realized I didn't secure that down. So we got a stove, we got a, a little sink area, and we have a bed for Liz and an aquarium. So I think that, that worked out really well. So I will post pictures of this. My other baby bunkers are with Brickworm right now. I need to get them back because uh, she, she took care of my mocks while I was out of town. For those of you who missed that, I had to go out to uh, Arizona. I drove down there two and a half days. I stayed a week and drove two and a half days back. And I'm back in Seattle now. And thankfully, all of my family members are going to be okay. So three of them came down with COVID and they were not vaccinated. And at one point it was touch and go. And yes, hashtag baby brick bunkers so if you can work on yours over the next couple days you can see i built mine with all that detail in less than two hours so it's a fun little project you know you have some things you can play around with use some jumpers for the top so that you can connect multiples you can use down brackets to add artwork on the walls you can use two by uh, plates so that you can add provisions like we did oops See if I can do this angle here. Provisions on the wall like that. So really fun things to do. I really encourage you to do this, especially because my two special guests on Sunday will be Lana and Vanessa Zaccardi, who are going to be the judges and the reviewers for these. So please get your baby bunkers in <laughs> by Saturday, Saturday, 11.59. And tomorrow, for those of you who are regular viewers, I will be back tomorrow doing my thrifty Thursday and I found a Star Wars set which is a little at at set it's um it's a six plus set and it's got 205 pieces for $19.99 and you get a little at at and a couple of minifigures so it's a really good deal so I'm looking forward to it I haven't built a Star Wars set since I built the Poe Dameron X-Wing with the little BB-8 so I'm really excited about that. So I hope you tune in tomorrow at 9 o'clock at my regular time. And for those of you who know on the Brick and Easter Broadcast Network, we say, may the clutch be with you. So thank you, everyone. And we'll see you again soon. Take care. And if you like the stream, please like the stream. A thumbs up. Any comments would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you soon. Oh, what is the set number of the mini at at? Ooh. Okay, hold on. I can see it right here. Let me go grab it real quick. Plus, it's, it's so cute. I had to, I wanted to show you anyway. So look at this set. <laughs> this is a cute set. It's a mini at at and a mini tauntaun. So it's called the uh, at at versus tauntaun micro is it micro fighters micro fighters it's set number seven five two nine eight so you get a tauntaun and you get an at at 
and you get two mini figs in there. Very, very cool little set. I saw this and I said, okay, I gotta get this. It's a six plus, which also probably means there's no stickers in here. I don't see a lot of them. You see that at Target. Yeah, yeah, you, I got this from Target. It's not on sale right now, but it's series eight of micro fighters. So I have to do some research on this because apparently I guess there's several series of micro fighters. You might have to get it. Yeah, well, 205 pieces. If, if you just look at the piece count for 1999, 205 pieces plus you get two minifigures, that's a pretty good deal. Chicago flag shirt, yeah. <laughs> this is actually rugby weekend shirt when uh, there were several, I think it was uh, New Zealand and Ireland, I think both came to Chicago. Go Bears. <laughs> yeah, so the two minifigures you get is you get a Luke Skywalker and you get the at-at driver. So that's according to this. You can see that. And Luke Skywalker has, the other reason why I like this is that Luke Skywalker has that, the hat with the goggles from, you know, being on Hoth. Is it Hoth, right? <laughs> the snow planet. You can tell I'm not big into Star Wars. I don't know all the mythology. But anyway, we'll be building this tomorrow as part of Thrifty Thursday. And that'll be at 9 o'clock Pacific time, my usual time. Anyway, thanks again, everybody. <laughs> the Emperor had an Imperial Walker when he got old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rugby is better than American football. Yes. Actually, that's another conversation, but I'm glad you said that, Joel, because, you know, actually, the U.S. had been one of the leaders in rugby for many, many years. Um, in the Olympics before they, um, <laughs> they, they changed that. Anyway, we'll talk about that maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Thrifty Thursday, and it'll be the Star Wars Micro Fighters at at versus Tauntaun set. Very, very excited about it. So once again, take care, everybody, and may the clutch be with you. Take care. Bye.